Connecting an intermediate switch between a bulb and a miniature circuit breaker MCB, is a practical electrical wiring technique that allows you to control a single bulb from three or more different locations. This setup is particularly useful in larger spaces such as hallways, staircases, or large rooms where having multiple control points for lighting enhances convenience and accessibility. An intermediate switch, also known as a four-way switch, is designed to work in conjunction with two two-way or three-way switches. When wired correctly, this setup allows the bulb to be turned on or off from any of the switch locations. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of wiring an intermediate switch system. We'll cover everything from understanding the wiring diagram to installing the switches and making the necessary electrical connections. This step-by-step -step guide is aimed at providing clear instructions to ensure a safe and effective installation. Step 1. Understanding the wiring diagram. First, understand the wiring setup. The intermediate switch will be placed between two-way switches. The basic idea is, MCB connects to the first two-way switch. The first two-way switch connects to the intermediate switch. The intermediate switch connects to the second two-way switch. The second two-way switch connects to the bulb. Step 2. Install the MCB. 1. Turn off the main power supply. 2. Install the MCB in the distribution board following the manufacturer's instructions. 3. Connect the live wire from the main power supply to the input terminal of the MCB. Step 3. Wiring the two-way switches. 1. Mount the two-way switches in their desired locations on the wall. 2. Run a wire from the output terminal of the MCB to the common terminal COM, of the first two-way switch. 3. Connect two wires to the L1 and L2 terminals of the first two-way switch. These will run to the intermediate switch. Step 4. Wiring the intermediate switch. 1. Mount the intermediate switch at the desired location. 2. Connect the two wires from the L1 and L2 terminals of the first two-way switch to one pair of terminals on the intermediate switch. 3. Run two wires from the other pair of terminals on the intermediate switch to the L1 and L2 terminals of the second two-way switch. Step 5. Wiring the second two-way switch. 1. Mount the second two-way switch in the desired location. 2. Connect the two wires from the intermediate switch to the L1 and L2 terminals of the second two-way switch. 3. Connect the common terminal COM, of the second two-way switch to one terminal of the bulb holder. 4. Connect the other terminal of the bulb holder to the neutral wire from the main power supply. Step 6. Final connections and testing. 1. Ensure all connections are secure and insulated with electrical tape where necessary. 2. Turn on the MCB and the main power supply. 3. Test the setup by toggling the two-way switches and the intermediate switch to ensure the bulb can be turned on and off from all locations. Please note this. The common terminals COM, of the two-way switches are used for the main live connections. The L1 and L2 terminals on the intermediate switch swap the connections between L1 and L2 of the two-way switches, allowing for the intermediate control. By following these steps, you can successfully connect an intermediate switch between a bulb and an MCB, allowing control from multiple locations. Always remember to adhere to safety guidelines when working with electrical circuits.